In this video, we will show how users can generate an analysis notebook from processed RNA-seq data using the BioGP's web server. So to start generating the notebook, we can go ahead and click on the Get Started button. Here, the user is required to specify the data they wish to analyze. It can choose between searching published data sets, uploading their own data, or using an example data set to learn how to generate notebooks. So since we're uploading our own data, we can click on your data. Now the user is asked to specify the format of the RNA-seq data they're uploading and have the option to choose between a numeric gene expression table containing genes on the rows and samples on the columns or raw RNA-seq data in the FASTQ format. So in our case, we can go ahead and click on gene expression table. Here, BioGPS provides a form that allows users to select RNA-seq data files from their own file system and upload them to the web server for notebook generation. For today's example, for today's tutorial, we will present an analysis of the following data set. The table on the left represents gene expression across six different cell lines, three of which represent melanoma cell lines and three of which come from non-tumoral melanocyte cell lines. Samples are shown on columns, genes are shown on rows, and the values represent raw gene counts mapped using RNA sequencing. The table on the right shows some metadata describing the samples in the dataset, and specifically shows the stage of transformation of the cells, indicating that the first three samples come from primary cells and the remaining three are metastatic. And then the cell type, which indicates the first three are normal melanocytes and the remaining three are melanoma cell lines. So to get started generating the notebook, we can click on the input file and then upload the gene expression matrix. BioGPS will provide a preview of the data set, again showing genes on the rows, samples on the columns, and raw gene counts as values. We can then click on continue. And here the user is required to specify more information about the samples contained in the data set. And can do this by either providing information about individual groups, which are associated to the samples by using the form on the left, or to upload a metadata file containing additional information about the samples, which is the optional choose for today's demo. We can then click on the metadata file and click on open to upload it. And here, BioGPS again provides a preview of the metadata. For both data and metadata, we support Excel sheets, tab-separated files, comma-separated files. Once this step is complete, we can go ahead and click on continue. During this process, the data and metadata are being packaged into an HDF5 file and then uploaded to the cloud. Once this step is complete, you can proceed to video number 5 for more information about generating a notebook using your recently uploaded dataset.